Hey guys. So, well, we're going to listen to a little chill, low fi hip hop while we do this. But let's head into the actual classroom at Udacity. This is where I go to learn all my lessons, complete my projects, stuff like that. The whole iOS program can be separated into six different parts, as shown. It's the whole curriculum right here. And then there's some, like, extra stuff, like career services, and um, just a bunch of different things you can learn. Uh, right now, currently, I am learning about the different views and navigations, and it's all the stuff in UIKit Fundamentals. And then I will be working on building the Mimi Lab, Mimi app later. But today we're going to talk about Git and GitHub. So I completed the three different lessons on the subject, and I learned a bunch of stuff, definitely. But I'm not really confident in my overall ability of it. There's still a bunch of things that I don't completely get yet, like visualizing all the different branches and then merging them together at the end, like say if you're um, working on the same piece of code, but then you want to do maybe three different things on it that would require three different branches and then having them all merged together at the end. I, I mean, I barely have any experience with that. So there's still a lot to learn for me. And if you're interested in, in learning about that, you can go to Derek Banus. He has a bunch of um, Git, GitHub videos that are really helpful that I'll probably end up looking at later on as well. Uh, so let's get into what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to go into GitHub, make a repository, and then push my Pitch Perfect app from my local repository into the, the GitHub repository. And I'm going to do that using the HTTPS um, link. Um, I honestly, I don't really understand the difference between the two, but Udacity says use HTTPS because it's just easier to understand. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to, well I can just here copy to clipboard. Then I'll go into my master branch of Pitch Perfect. Contains all here. I'll show you. Contains um, another directory within that, and then the actual Xcode project. So we're going to add um, the directory and the file to the, what's called a staging area. And what that is, it's kind of like a, a loading dock to then commit all of your all your things to be loaded onto your local repository and get um, so and I'm gonna do that with this little move right here so those two files are now added with um, under under the first version called initial commit so now they're in the staging area or now they're um, all committed they're ready to be pushed into I just so right here I just added a what's called a remote named origin and origin is the actual link of the repository on github and right here um, I'm pushing the origin and um, I'm pushing the master branch to the origin um, link through here and then once, uh, once that's done I should be able to refresh this page and then let's, let's show you and then everything's uploaded so bam I have um, a working um, what's it called I don't know um, all my all my files are are now on github ready to be viewed by prospective um, employers but I'll have to customize my pin repository later but I mean, yeah, that's about it. GitHub and Git can get kind of complicated because there's, I mean, there's just so many different things you can do. But it's it's really necessary when you're working on a big project, especially if it's with um, a bunch of other people at the same time. It's it's just a really necessary thing to have some type of version control system. So that's about it, guys. 
Um, I already showed you what the project looked like. I'm not sure what my next video will be. It'll probably be around something related to um, like the UI kit. But other than that, hope you have a good day. Take care.